It's clear that Fox News and Republicans are desperate to equate top secret documents being found at Joe Biden's home to Donald Trump intentionally stealing and withholding hundreds of classified documents. The Biden White House, however, is pushing back on Fox News' narrative, as evident in this exchange between Karine Jean-Pierre and White House correspondent Peter Ducey. When will the White House release a log of visitors to the Wilmington House? You know, um, Peter, you've asked this question, or as your colleagues have asked this question before, let's not forget uh, what we did here in this White House. We instituted something that the last administration got rid of, which is putting out the White House, uh, putting, uh, making sure that there was a White House log, extensive White House log, so the American I mean, people the got to see, house where again, there is potentially again, unsecured well, classified again, material. Again, I am telling you, we did something that the last administration got rid of, which is instituting the White House logs. Uh, did you ask the last administration why they got rid of the White House logs? Okay, let's go, let's go. Well, we did Fox did? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. While it's entertaining to watch Fox News remind us how toxic they are week in and week out, Fox isn't the only media outlet hungry to build the Biden documents into a story bigger than it is. Ed O'Keefe of CBS News contentiously sparred with John Pierre multiple times. Uh, I want to make sure that we do this in appropriate, the appropriate way. Well, we're going to ask them. That's our job. And I understand, so and, and my job is to answer your so question. So here we go. Let's go. So you're the one here. Yeah, talking to us about this. That's why we're asking you. So let's just remember that. I, uh, when Ed, he was Ed, asked Ed, yesterday, Ed, I'm, we don't need we don't need to have this. We work very well together. We do. I don't. We don't need to have this kind of confrontation. Ask your question, and I will answer well, them the best the that reason, I can. We just heard from the attorney general. There is a review. I am limited in what I can say to this. Could Richard Sauber perhaps come here. I Stuart think you Gallery should. I here? think you should reach out. Uh, to the White House Council. We're reaching out on a constant basis. Okay, so why not have them okay. Come here to the I am saying to questions. you that we have put out lengthy statements, and you can reach out to them as you all have been doing. And I will leave it there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just why not have them come and answer just, the questions? I, they have been, they have been talking to you all pretty regularly the last couple of days. Uh, we have put out. They have put out. Uh, lengthy st statements on this. I just read out uh, what Sh Richard Sarber had to say, and I would refer you to the White House counsel. I am limited in what I can say because, because the Department of Justice, we see them as being independent when it comes to these types of issues. And there's going to be a limit in transparency, public, non legal transparency, and what can be shared and said by this way. I disagree. There has, I disagree, Ed. There has not been a limit of transparency. That the is, that is, that is, that is, there has not been a limit of transparency. That I will, I will disagree with you on that, Justin. And O'Keefe wasn't the only one asking questions about the documents, of course. Nearly every major media outlet tried to get info out of John Pierre, who stood fast and continued holding the line that they have done everything by the book and that she can't say much more while the investigation unfolds. Which leads us to the ultimate question, what was in Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago documents? You see, I don't care about what Biden had, assuming anything about classified documents is dangerous. But Biden's career of service and his long record of keeping national security secrets safe makes me believe these documents probably pertain to something mild, maybe like Uzbekistan's wheat output in August. But Donald Trump's stolen documents and his history of cozying up to foreign dictators and adversaries makes me believe the documents he refused to give up contain something way more important to our enemies, like Ukrainian communication or Korea's weapon abilities in the DMZ. My belief is that this all goes back to the fact that we still don't know what Donald Trump had and whether or not he was selling our state secrets. It explains why our media is in the frenzy they are. It's why O'Keefe and the White House press corps have been foaming at the mouth in these press briefings. And personally, I'm okay with the rabid search for truth when it comes to the Biden documents because after the special counsel investigation finds that Biden's classified documents were harmless and national security was not threatened, the focus is going to shift back to a former president who was impeached for trying to blackmail a friendly nation who was on the brink of war with our biggest adversary. A former president who cannot be trusted and who knowingly stole documents and refused to turn them over. So the question I have after all of this is not how did these documents get into Biden's garage or office, but what did Donald Trump do with the documents he had in his possession and how will he be punished when we find out that he was selling state secrets?